Hello folks, welcome back. George here, I hope you all are doing okay. Um, folks, this story is a sad story. This, uh, this, whole, this whole deal with Micah Miller. And if you're not sure or have not heard about this story, well, Micah Miller, uh, she was 30 years old, and on April 27th, 2024 this year she uh, uh, took her own life uh, and people are saying it's because she was with a abusive in an abusive situation allegedly and um, there's been a lot of talk about the pastor pastor John Paul Miller and he was the uh, pastor at Solid Rock at Market Common in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And he still is, as far as I know. But I uh, want to show you something of Pastor uh, Paul, or Pastor John Paul Miller, and what happened um, in the day that he announced his wife's death. And he was preaching, and he had been doing the whole sermon and this is what happened at the end of the sermon. Now, I remind you, he had been joking, telling jokes, talking, you know, through the whole sermon. And this is what, how he announced uh, Micah's death. I'm going to have you stand up, and I'm going to make an announcement. And um, after the announcement, I'm going to ask that you, um, you leave church quietly and, and don't talk about the announcement here in the building, please, if you can, so y'all can stand to your feet. Um, before I make the announcement, I also want to say that um, my request to you is that you will continue to come to church and serve and give um, for the next, you know, little bit, because I don't want to have, I'm taking a little bit of a break, and I don't want to have to worry about the church. My break may be a few days, a few weeks, I don't know. Um, I got a call late last night. My wife has passed away, and yeah, and it was, it was self-induced. And it was uh, up in North Carolina. And um, we're going to have a funeral for her next Sunday here at 3 p.m. And so um, it's, it's all I can, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of going on um, adrenaline right now. So, so y'all pray for me and my kids and everybody. And uh, she was, she wasn't, y'all knew that she wasn't well mentally and that uh, she needed her, her medicine that was hard to get to her. And so um, I'm sure there'll be more details to come. But um, just keep our family in your prayers. And I'm going to let Pastor Randall, my uh, bishop, uh, he can pray. I'll get him a microphone. He'll pray out. And if you have anything you want to share as well, uh, I appreciate it. So that's how he told everybody about his wife's death. And this is what just blew up on the Internet. Um, I do have a video a little bit more in depth on my other channel. Oh, what I saw today, and I'll leave a link to that. But, um, folks, this is such a sad, sad story. Um, Micah had, um, on uh, April 27th, she went to a state park up in North Carolina, about almost 100 miles away from the church, or Myrtle Beach, where she lived. And she went to this state park, this Lumberton uh, State Park, and um, that's where she ended her life with a gunshot. Um, and it's graphic as is, it is to talk about. It's so sad. And when people are thinking about committing, you know, uh, suicide and it needs to be discussed. It needs to be talked about. And there's people out there that need help. Um, and they, you know, sometimes just talking to somebody can mean a world of difference uh, to them. Um, so I wanted to do a little short reading. This is not my normal reading that I would do on a board. I have... Um, just wanted to try to communicate to see if we can get any kind of communication uh, from Micah uh, and her spirit. And uh, 
I think that you'll find what comes out on this reading very interesting. So let's, uh, let me switch over and we'll get started. Hello, spirits. Hello, spirits. If I have any spirits here, please come in. This will be for Micah Miller. Any negative spirits, please go away. Any neg negative spirits, please go away. Spirits, this is for Micah Miller. And you can communicate with all these devices. She passed away. She took her life in South Carolina on April 27th, 2024. Her age was 30 years old. Today's date and this session is May 10, 2024. Spirits, if you can help me with this situation, just some, a couple of cards and a tea reading. If you can help me with this, I would like to have some information. First, I want to see do I have do I have any I do. You're here, spirits? Are you here? You're here. You can communicate with this device. Are you here? You're here? Oh, I hear you. Okay. Very good. Yeah, folks, so um, as we get started here, yeah, there's, uh, if you're new to the channel, yeah, this is uh, kind of lets me know if there's uh, energy going on uh, in this uh, s setting. And you can see that there was definitely some energy. The top box, the round box at the top, it, it'll set off signals and lights if there's some sort of energy around but um, this is a uh, very sad to me reading and so um, and I'll stop throughout a little bit and kind of let you know what's going on but um, yeah it's it's interesting what what's coming up and like I said this is not my normal reading uh, I usually spread it out a little bit more, but we're going to do the card reading at today and tea leaf. And the tea leaf is, hmm. yep. All right, spirits. I want to, I want to see if you are male, female, or a child male, or a child female. If you can tell me this, that would greatly help me understand what spirits we have here at the board here. And you can you can communicate with these boxes here. Can you help me decide what spirit I may have here that may know something about Micah Miller, what she was going through, maybe how her presence is now, just something that can help us. Give me a one, two, three, or four. And I want all negative spirits out of here. All negative spirits out of here. One, two, three, or four. child female. See that? We have a child female. Right. So I'm going to name you. Let's give you a name so you can communicate with me. 
Bailey. Bailey, you can communicate. Yeah, folks, um, it's my uh, good friend Marilyn. She's a um, 82 year old lady that's wonderful, wonderful friend, and she's also a psychic. And uh, she says if you you encounter that you feel like you have a spirit with you um, in in your session, you should always try to give them a name. Um, and that helps them understand that you're talking to them and they can they relate to let to that like something like children that the spirits she always says they're something like they're kind of like toddlers so and they react to little different things that you're trying to communicate or they want to try to communicate with you so that's why I use a lot of dice and all kind of different items on this board I want to pull a couple of numbers here and help me what these numbers would be spirits spirit Bailey I'm gonna roll a couple of numbers here just help me with some numbers two Help me with another number. One more number, Spirit. One more number. You're communicating. 23. Right. If someone knows what 23 may stand for, let me know. Now, Spirits, if you can help me with a card. First, let's get me a... I want to... I got our fortune tellers here. You can help me with a fortune teller that would help understand, uh, give us a card, uh, help us understand Micah's situation. One, two, three, or four. Six. One, two, three, or four. One, two, three. Thank you, spirits. Yeah, yeah folks, these are uh, very interesting cards when they come up. The fortune tellers, because they relate re to the uh, card of Mincy. And, uh, but I wanted to focus on the number 23. I have no idea what that would mean and if there's any family members that was to be watching this or friends of Micah uh, if you know what the number 23 may mean because it could mean something on this board so I'm um, that I I did I just uh, got a I don't know I got a vibe that this number means something don't know what but. let's see who we have Buster, the diamonds. Buster. Yeah, and these are our fortune teller cards. I use four of them. And uh, this is a very good story on this one. Represents the diamonds. <laughs> oh, very good. We'll get to Lester's card here in just a moment. Now, spirits, we have here the Terror Spirits cards. A uh, forward or reverse card that could help us understand Micah Miller's situation. We all know what happened to her. We don't understand how this happened. But if you can help us with one card out of this deck, help us understand, help her family understand, maybe send a message to Micah's family. With this one card. I'm going to roll the dice. Tell me how many cards to deal out. <laughs> one card. Okay. And there it is. Yeah, folks, I always tell everybody that I just do the one card. And I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I always tell folks that I love studying the art of Terra and trying to communicate with spirits to see if, if we can get some kind of spirits and um, you know to react 
to the story that we're asking about, you know, the situation. And boy, they never, never disappoint. Always something comes up. And so I do the one tarot card in these readings and I do reversals and upright. So this is the card that was chosen for Micah today. And let's see if it's forward or reversed. <laughs> the Three of Cups and it's reversed. Mm. Yeah, folks, boy, what a card. You know, um, you know, this card here, it talks about, um, it talks about, or the, you know, it talks about a celebration of things to come, but this card was reversed. And so I'm going to let you, I want you to listen to the, the, what it, this card in reverse, what it means. And I'm just going to tell you folks, this card, if this, the spirit of Micah just really felt like it came through with this card. So here is the meaning and look at the, the card. You always should look at the artwork and you have, you know, you have people here celebrate, you know, and they're celebrating some sort of an occasion. Um, but you, but this card being in reverse, the story on the card, on the picture, well, it's reverse. So here is the meaning of this card. In a general context, the Three of Cups Spirit card reversed can indicate celebrations being canceled. This may take the form of a canceled party, a canceled wedding or an engagement being broken off to name but a few. The Three of Cups reversed can signify that your social life may be non-existent at the moment, or that you've grown apart from your friends. While you know, folks, I, I just wanted to stop it at this. I believe, this is what I believe, I believe this card possibly could be coming through the spirit of Micah and maybe a sending a message to her ex-husband, which, by the way, she was, you know, she was divorcing at the time that she took her life. She was going through a horrible, horrible uh, divorce and separation. And she was um, saying that she had went through a lot of abuse. So I really think this card is speaking to someone in, in her existence. I really do. The Upright Three of Cups is all about people who are open and loving coming together in celebration. The reversed card can indicate backstabbing or bitchiness from those around you. It can indicate that the people who should be happy for you, or alternatively should be empathizing with you if an important event has fallen through, are being nasty or gossiping about you behind your back. People you thought were your friends may try to start rumors or sabotage you with gossip when this card appears. Be careful who you trust. The Three of Cups in a reversed position can also indicate a celebration being tainted in some way, you could find that a rowdy intoxicated guest ruins your party or someone gate crashes or causes a scene. It can also simply be a sign of family and friends going their separate ways after a coming together for a celebration. Look to the supporting cards for more information. Yeah, so that is... Boy, folks, I really think that this card is speaking to um, Pastor John Paul. I really do. Um, because the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, uh, if you've been keeping up with this uh, story, it is crazy. And some of the stuff is coming out about him and his very unstable ways. Um, and, uh, yeah. I, I truly believe that this card was definitely picked by Micah trying to speak to, to John Paul.
Interesting card. Interesting. Spirits. I have. And this is the card of minutesy cards, folks. This is where you're you can get kind of a um, fortune uh, from the past, present, or future. Either one. It can be speaking on that. And it's basically uh, telling the fortune of, with poker cards. And this card reveals quite a bit. Uh, and here are the cardamency cards. If you can if you can help me with one card that may make, help us understand what Michael was going through or what's going on in some part of the family or some part of the relationship. And this will be Lester Halogenia and I'll, I'm going to flip through the cards and the first diamond I come through, that's going to be Micah's card. The Eight of Diamonds. Here we go. Yeah, folks. Yeah, the Eight of Diamonds is this I, another card that I just was like, wow. Uh, this card came up also. I really believe this is from Micah. And the reason I believe this because there's a there's wording in this that talks about um, different stuff that we've heard from her story. So let me uh, do this. I'm going to let this play so you can see. Now, as you can see, the, these cards, they're kind of like the right in your face fortune. So you can see here, lost fortune. And trust me when I say this, folks, that this church, the whole deal, um, out of the behavior of the pastor and what went on uh, and with his wife, you know, taking her life the way she did, yeah, there's going to be a loss in fortune. Trust me. Um, and let's see what else here it will tell you. Now, these are the uh, references. So, you know, it kind of just, you know, puts out wording about what this card can mean hidden money a room with the view rich neighbors and if you see where he lives um wow it's a gated community very i mean we're talking about we're talking about big money here but time pieces and when you see the word time pieces in a card um we're talking about, like, uh, there's something that's went on that's developed into a really, like, disturbing manner. So you have time pieces that's taken away and chipping away uh, and telling a story of what went on. Now, the next thing here on this card, the card... Well, always, each card has its own state that it represents and the country. On this card, um, the Eight of Diamonds, it represents the state of Hawaii in America, and then the country is South Africa. I could not believe this is, was coming up on this card because Micah was trying to start a school in South Africa. Yep. And she loved the fact of, you know, helping and teaching um, these other countries and uh, specifically South, uh, South Africa. And boy, for this to come up, really something. So here is the, um, the meaning of this card. So this is the something. House of Good Fortune card. This card is about the fortification of something that needs strengthening and protection. This represents challenge within yourself card. The Eight of Diamonds is like bringing something into being by opening up your own personal doors and allowing good vibes to enter. Can also mean a marriage and travel situation that's going to be happening late in life. 
And for the bad, it could mean financial ups and downs like money in your hand or out. This card heralds the presence of good fortune and success, test your boundaries, but avoid the pitfalls of becoming overly ambitious or power hungry. And folks, that is a strong statement right there. Avoid the pitfalls of becoming overly ambitious or power hungry. And you know, when people get into, uh, people are really saying about this pastor and how they believe that he, uh, and this is just alleging, you know, I'm, or I'm not alleging, but this is what people are saying and their thoughts about the pastor and how he, you know, just put down people in his power. He used his power to manipulate things and, yeah, so this card really, really has a lot to say about this whole situation about Micah's, uh, you know, ending her life. And this is the final message on the card. When these cards come up, the uh, from the fortune teller, um, Lester Halogeny, this would be the message, and it says here, only in the, the darkness. Can you see the stars? And I feel like that that is a perfect message for what we're talking about when it comes to Micah. Because she, you know she was in a, a dark world. She was, she was in a very dark place for her to take her life. And, but now, I mean, she's in heaven, I feel like. She's in the stars, and she's looking down, and she's going to try to help who she can with the power of her spirit, is what I believe. That's a, that's a powerful card right there. Now, spirits, I'm going to go to the tea leaf reading board, and I'd like to have some help with that, if you could. Maybe a message or a visual that you can help us with the tea leaves. Okay, spirits. I want all bad negative spirits out of here, please. Now, folks, this is the tea leaf reading. Um, boy, um, this is probably one of my most favorite things to do when it comes to readings because tea leaves can tells such a story with a image so um, I want this to play but I want you to see what comes out of this it's quite something and remember this is the reading for Micah Miller who took her own life and when I ring the bells folks that's to get the negative spirits if you have any that that helps get rid of them. They don't like, supposedly, they don't like any sharp ringing sound. And that will supposedly get rid of them. All negative spirits out of here. This tea leaf reading will be for Micah Miller. She passed away April 27th. 2024, she took her own life. Spirits, if you can give us a vision of something that Micah is trying to maybe tell us in the tea leaves. Something that Micah is trying to tell us. Something that Micah is trying to tell us, spirits. If you can give us a vision, give us a vision. And the tea leaves. Oh. Here we go, spirits. Spirits, this is my personal item. Any vision that you can give us, please help us. Any vision at all.
Now, folks, I'm going to tell you, I've struggled with this one. I really have. But there's one thing that stands out here that I saw when I saw when I first saw the reading here. Um, the the two images looks to like looks to me like there's two people standing there possibly, and in the background on the bottom the big part, to me it started it looked like a maybe a cat. But I don't know if Micah, if she had a cat, if somebody in the chat uh, or somebody that's uh, close to her knows if she had a cat, let me know. But the one thing I did see on this, folks, is the image to the right that looks like a, a gun. That's what stood out to me and a shooting bullet coming out of it. That's exactly what it looked like to me. And at first I was thinking there's maybe a river there, but I could not, I don't know. After looking at this, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you all see in this. Uh, this is quite something. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm seeing I'm seeing right here this maybe could be a body of water this looks like this looks like a possibly a weapon yeah folks that's what stood out right there I mean I, I saw that and that's the number one thing and to me if it is what we're seeing, I believe that it's a message saying, hey, you know, yes, this happened, and it didn't need to happen. It didn't need to happen. And we got the spirits shooting out into the sky. And the bullet, look here, the bullet coming out of the gun. Oh my goodness. I am I'm shaking. This this is such an image right here. This is it just falling. And this is oh my gosh. This is somewhat of an angel maybe. And this could be what I'm looking at maybe a water. Yeah, folks, I just could not completely make out a... It looks like, to the right, a person standing there. That could be Micah. Um, that could be the children that she's... It looks like she, Micah could be reading. And it, to the left, it could be a child standing there. Um, but let me know what you see. But I definitely see the weapon that looks like a, a gun. Definitely. And we don't, as far as the drippings go, we have nothing. And this is what we call the drippings from the tea leaves. And to me, folks, this is like a angel flying away, flying up to the sky, and leaving things behind, leaving particles, leaving the past. We have nothing, maybe this little piece right here. And it looks like that uh, maybe it's an angel flying up, leaving behind, leaving behind debris. An angel, angel flying up. That's what I'm seeing right there. Yeah, yeah folks, definitely let me know what you see in this, because I want to know this, what you, your thoughts. But yeah, this is definitely so sad what a sad story something that never should have ever happened to a beautiful soul closer look here 
as you can see, this appears to be the weapon. And Thank you, spirits. Thank you, Michael. Okay, spirits. Thank you for that, Micah. Thank you, and bless you and your family. Your pain is over. Spirits, you are welcome to leave this session here. And you will be asked to come back. Bailey, you will be asked to come back. And any negative spirits, go away. Thank you, spirits. So, folks, there we go. That was the reading for Micah Miller. Bless her soul. And I just know that she's in a better place now, mentally and spiritually. Um, she had to be in so much pain on this earth. And if this uh, pastor, John Paul Miller, um, if he put her through all this anguish, um, you know, his days in the future ahead of, uh, of him is going to be judged on how he treated her. And so, I don't know, folks. But anyway, I think that I'll call it uh, a reading on this. And thank you so much. And I want to say, folks, if you know someone or if yourself is struggling with... Uh, you know, suicide thoughts, something that uh, you have been struggling with, please go talk to someone. Find someone that will uh, sit and talk to you because um, that will, you know, that, that could be the one thing that would just get you through this because there's so many people that struggle with this. And, uh, I just pray that you, you know, everybody will be okay when they find that they're having troubles with these thoughts. You know, there is help out there, uh, but whatever you do, don't go and end your life. Somebody wants you in their life. Somebody does. And life is too precious to be doing this. Um, well, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you do have a loved one or someone close, please go give them a hug. Tell them you love them because, folks, you just never know. You just never know. Thank you so much, folks. And until uh, next time, this is George, and we'll see you down the road. Be safe.